Nerd Step Jet here, and I'm going to be reviewing the Bowler Key Chain Flint Metal Matchstick Fire. Well, Matchstick. I've already, I've already tried to use it a few times just to make sure things run, how it worked and everything. And I've come to the realization, um, some people on Amazon don't know what they're talking about. I'll admit, I followed because it says so many different things you can use. Like it says kerosene. Uh, and, uh, well, I tried the kerosene. It didn't work. So I had to clean it up and I ended up start using this in it the Zippo lighter fluid. Now, there's a few things I came across when I did it. The uh, outer interior, little this little little decorative part right here, didn't stay glued properly. It, it tends to, and when you have the uh, stick out, if you have too much fluid in it, and you dump it, it'll pour out here. So if you have too much fluid, I mean, this bottom comes out. So you can change the cotton and all that. They'll change the interior stuff. Filler. Which is yeah, just like a solid pad in there for it. And it's got the same like wick as a regular Zippo. Where did I put it? I forgot to bring it down. But it's got that same wick. That's like what's in here in the Zippo. I don't, and actually I tell you this much, I don't smoke. I used to smoke, so I have Zippos laying around. But, yeah, it came with two wicks, just one thing, flint and steel, and this is all that really is a stick. And I've come to realize after I got the kerosene cleaned out, that it will take, it does take a couple strikes. We even get it lit, and it'll stay lit for a while. And it's kind of harder to put out than a regular match, so that's a good thing. But yeah, you just you could either pop this top, take take this out and fill it up with your zippo fluid, or if you're ready, want to be daring, take this off and put it in. But this flint, I wore it out pretty good. So what I could recommend is when you use it, you can either use it going this way or this way. Or if you, if you need to, carry some extra flint and steel with you. Uh, like I've got a big chunk of flint, a flint like that big, well, like that big around that I have was a, another thing. But I would also recommend you to carry them extra matches or is it a fully loaded lighter I recommend Zippos I mean because you got the uh, the big lighters are more easy to break or explode in certain areas and I actually had bought a full a bit larger First aid kit. Um, I know quite a bit about first aid. I've been to several different units in my military career, and four different times I took a combat lifesaver course. So, and I, I know quite a bit about the actual combat lifesaver stuff. I mean, tourniquets—that's something every soldier should know. How to use this? There's splints, the uh, nasal pharyngeal airway, we just du I just dub it nose hose, when it goes in the nose, I've learned how to put one in, and I have received one, actually on a voluntary basis, it's not very comfortable, but it was, a it, it's something that, hey, I wanted to have 
Better soldier had get had the experience of actually doing a ri uh, doing one on a real life individ person instead of a dummy. And there's other things like really um uh, gotta remember what it's called needle chest decompression. They had us they taught us how to do that. I've done that several times. I mean, I've been in long enough that it, back when they were teaching, they were teaching combat lifesavers to do IVs. The combat lifesaver course has changed, but there's just so many things that you learn in those that I know more of what I'm doing sense of how many times I've been through the course when it comes to certain things like bleeding extremities and CPR and stuff like that but when I bought the kit I uh, got a like an ace wrap that came with it um, like this the original clips for it were so thin and so soft, they bent easily. So I actually ma manufactured myself something to work better, work for it with it. It will grab and should, and it will grab pretty good and hold. I mean, yeah, it's probably a little bulky compared to those, but. It's sturdier, and I can always do some modifications or make a different one, maybe a little more curved. But there's always reasons why you want to test your equipment and review and make sure everything's still in functional condition when it comes to life saving and stuff like that. If I didn't. If I didn't test that kerosene theory, I just thought it worked. I probably would have came in, done this review, and realized I didn't. It didn't work. And see, this doesn't always work. Oh, that was a big chunk of flint. It doesn't always work when you try to strike it. I'm getting ready. My finger is dangerously close to that end. So what's the one thing you don't want to do? So, I have to say, you may not want to get these, at least the cheaper version, because I spent maybe six bucks on this. You spend about ten bucks on a Zippo to get it lit. I mean, you you could probably use them in tandem. Zip it long enough to light it. Close the Zippo. Use it to light whatever you're doing. So that way you're not getting your finger getting your finger caught up into uh, the thing. And I think it just. Trying to torch this one pretty in the certain some spots that I shouldn't have. So you always want to make sure you have enough fluid. I probably didn't have enough fluid in here. I just give a little extra squirt. But yeah, you're gonna probably burn it from time to time. Burn the like wick and all that. I mean it happens in zippos. Especially when you're low on fluid. But I'm gonna be carrying this. I will carry this. Because it, it gives me that length, but I'll either I'll well be carrying the Zippo and matches as long as well, which are, would be waterproof. The Army usually has a lot of times where they will have matchbooks in them, and they're designed for well, military MREs. Will have match matches that are good in 
damn climates. And I collect them, and I figured I'd use them for, like, camping and stuff like that. I mean, I'll... I, that's about... You wouldn't probably just carry all three of those. Just to be on the safe side. Say something happens to your lighter, and it doesn't work. And your matches are still good. You've got those. But then you're... What I also really recommend is learn how to use, like, the sticks and strings and stuff. To, like, sticks and strings, making all that other stuff to light fires. And eventually, I will make a video on how to, uh, doing that stuff. And I'm just going to start working on trying to do more and more stuff. My schedule does get busy. From time to time so if I don't make a video one week it means I've been busy doing something my yard has needs to be uh, reseeded got a lot of neighbor had uh, creeping Charlie and I haven't been able to get to spraying it but I'll, with the baby and all that been trying to take care of army stuff and now that I'll be getting out next year I will have a little extra time to do things to have fun and I will see you next time